Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy. How are you doing this wonderful morning? I hope you're doing well. And I'm so excited about this passage of scripture that I'm going to uh, share with you this morning. I hope you had a great weekend. And as we jump into this passage of scripture, and it blesses your socks off. And it is really so true of something that we need to grasp and own and celebrate all at the same time as we get into this, this new week. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. So when you think about this, this is by grace that you have been saved through faith. This is not from yourselves. You can't say, look what I did. I saved myself. You know, that's... That's actually a world's mentality. Look, I can do all these things. I can save myself. I can set myself free. I can deliver myself. I can boast about it. And uh, actually, some people say I can work my way into heaven. But you really can't. You can't get your way. You can't work your, uh, work your way. You can't pay your way in. There's a guy in the Bible that says, how, how much will it cost me? Uh, what, what, what do I have to pay to get into heaven? What job, what work, what things can I do? And really, it's only by confessing your sins, accepting Christ in your life, can you be saved. And that's the thing. It's, it's Works is not the thing that gets you into heaven. You can't say, look at all the things I've done in church, to all the nice things I've given to, all the nonprofits I've supported, all the charities and all the uh, that I've given to that, look, I'm a good person. You know what? You can be the greatest person. You can be the nicest person. You can be the most uh, huggy person. You can be all these things and, and still not, and you and you, you don't have Christ in your heart. That, you ain't going to get in the heaven. I am so sorry to tell you that. If this is a, this is a revelation for you, it, it's in the Bible, it says you must accept Christ. You must confess your sins and accept Christ. You know, that's a big thing, right? But the very fact is I know a lot of nice people that don't know Jesus. I mean, they give and they give and they give to charities and they, they want to help all these people, but they don't know Jesus. And if you don't know Jesus, you don't know Jesus. And uh, so here's the thing is, is for by grace, what is grace? It's something you don't deserve, but Christ gives it to us. It's by grace you have been saved through faith. Is saying, you know what? I have faith to believe that God, right? It's that faith, that unseen merit, right? That unseen. And this is not from yourselves. It's not from you. It's from Christ. This is not from yourselves. It is a gift. I love gifts. Don't you? Don't you love getting a gift? Yeah. When I was a kid, I remember getting those gifts and I would just tear into it. It wasn't just like, I'm just going to take a dainty little piece and, and and hopefully won't rip the paper so I can use it later. No, man, I tear that sucker up. Man, it's a gift from God, not by works. You can't work yourself into salvation. You can't work yourself into heaven. It's a gift of God. It is say, God, God says, I, God sent his only begotten son, John 3, 16, for you and for me. It is a gift for us. And we have to just say, you know what? It is that grace that you have been saved. And so I hope this morning, as you think about this, as you recognize it, you could be the sweetest, nicest person in the world. And that still won't get you into heaven. I, I, I just want to want to encourage you that if you don't know Jesus, would you just take a moment and accept Jesus Christ in your heart? And basically what that is, bowing your head and say, Jesus, would you come in my heart, forgive me for my sins, and come in and and uh, commit yourself to Christ. That's the hugest thing. That's the best Christmas gift you can ever be is giving your life to Christ. And that is huge. That will change your whole life. That is a gift from God. That is a huge gift. It's better than any uh, tinsel and any other wrapping paper that you could ever see at Christmas. It is your life being changed. And that is something you can go, yeah, woohoo! I'm saved, set free, and delivered. And watch how your life is changed. And as you get into the Word of God and you begin to let the Word of God and His Spirit get into you and, and watch your whole life be changed. And watch what happens. 
It's an amazing adventure. It's going to be easy to change all the things you used to be, that sinful nature that we all are so acquainted with. It's, it's one step at a time. And so if you, you have committed your life new to today, would you just uh, send me an email at timhammy at gmail.com or if you're on Facebook, just private message me and say, hey, I, I committed my life to Christ today. I'd love to celebrate with you. So again, if you get your notebook out, write this verse out and, and write this verse out. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 in the NIV, it says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Write that verse out, put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P, pray. And we're going to pray. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you so much for those that are watching now. Those who watch later, I pray that you encourage their heart today. I pray for those that are sick. I pray that you heal their body. I pray for those that are well, that you protect them from getting sick. I pray for our government, that you give them wisdom on any decision that they're making. I pray for our economy, that you turn it around. I pray for those that are in need this season, that Lord, that you provide for them. I pray for that you help us to bless somebody today. I pray that, Lord, that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. I thank you so much. I pray a blessing upon those watching now and those who watch later. Encourage their heart, Lord, in your name. Amen. Have an awesome, amazing day. Love you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow morning. And have an awesome day. Love you guys. We'll see you later.